want to keep I want I want to stay on the track of of taking initiative when you know I I know you were talking about Florida and you're like oh no that's great like it's not like the biggest stage but like you know it's great like I, I my goal is still to play in the NHL but when, when I see your last game this year and you get a hat trick you get a fight and was there anything else it was just a hat trick in the fight just that yeah just yeah, just that yeah. <laughs> just a hat trick in the fight and I talk about like okay yeah yeah I'm sure it was a big game like you know it was a big game but you know you talk about the world of social media and things happening and it's almost like you did take initiative of your own game and you stood out how many guys are on the ice at a time there's 20 guys on our 18 guys on a roster you're the only guy in my opinion that stood out on that entire game leading into the next year which is the 2021 2022 season and then you earned yourself a contract so essentially i want to know what's your mindset of going into each and every game yeah you might not be on an nhl level but obviously that's your goal and you're able to go out there get three fucking goals get a fight and the next thing you know the internet is brennan sonia brennan sonia brennan sonia brennan sonia who's this kid what's going on i want to know what your mindset is like in the dressing room before going out to play yeah um yeah i'm glad we're moving into that actually um how would i just start from like the beginning of the season and, okay and, sounds like, good. But do you know the question I'm, i like, do yeah the mindset going yeah. in every night every yeah. game so um so once i got to lehigh um you know just like had my biggest summer like this is a, this is a huge year for me like i need to go in there and like make that team like um, cause I'm on like an AHL, ECHL two yeah, way. Like yeah. if there's just too many guys, like they can send me back or whatever. Anyways, I go there, have a, uh, good training camp. I'm like sizing myself up to guys. I'm like, I could, I can be on this like third, fourth left line, like left wing slot. Like that's kind of where I saw myself fitting in, like yeah. feeling really good. Just working, like working like a dog, man. Like yeah. just trying to, you know, just trying to show something like a guy like me, you have to work so much harder, you know, just you know, for a little, just for a little, you know, you know, so anyways, my first conversation with my coach actually after training camp was Brennan and we're like, it's a COVID year. So we got probably 20 something forwards at camp, Fuck, you know, cause you have your NHL team, you have taxi. That's just carrying a few guys. Cause, um, in Philly, like Philly and Lehigh are so close. Like they'd rather have their guys in Lehigh playing games than on the taxi. So they're keeping oh, yeah. a few guys on taxi, interchanging guys. So like, I'm just kind of like one of the odd man out. Like, there's ten guys who aren't playing, but I'm just happen to be one of those guys. And my first conversation with the coach was Brennan, get with the trainers. Like, um, I'm not sure if you're gonna get in. Uh, so just like get some extra work and like stay ready in case like, you know, guys get sick or like in Whatever. case you know in case we get to throw you in kind of conversation. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> And that's nothing against the coach. It's just literally the numbers and the yeah. contracts. At least like, he told you. That's like, their job. Like the, co yeah. the coach is, you know, he's he was a fan of mine. And, you know, I have a ton of respect for Gordo. But, like, that was the first conversation I have. And that was just like a, you know, ugh. You know? Like a blow to you. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a blow. But yeah. we've taken many of those on the chin. <laughs> anyway, so I just, like, do what I say. I keep working hard. Um, I think, like, a few weeks in, uh, guys start getting sick. And I get in, and I think in my second game I had an assist. I'm feeling really good. I'm playing. F I'm playing five minutes, but like I'm those five minutes, I feel good. I'm like I can compete like at this level. And um, you know, like like you said, like your mindset going in, it, it has to be like there, there's just so much pressure. There's like a lot of pressure because it's like you're only gonna get your five minutes, but you have to stick out, or you're gonna get less. <laughs> Or you're, yeah, or you're not going to be in, right? Like, mm. and what's it going to be? So, like, I think the second game I got an assist. I'm, like, fired up, right? I just got my first point. Like, let's build off this. Fourth game, got my first AHL goal. So, now I'm, like, two points, four games. Like, I was, like, kind of, like, it was kind of, like, the same deja vu of the year before in the ECHL now. And I'm, like, what did I do after two months of this? I was in the All-Star game. Yeah, right. So, I was, like, we're building off this. After my, f after my first goal in that fourth game, Belly, I didn't play another game for a month and a half. Guys got healthy and guys came down. Month and a half. Of course. Month and a half. I didn't play hockey. Man, my stomach, like, my stomach just listening to this. Is you got to talk closer to the mic. My stomach listening to this. <laughs> hey, but we, we got back in. We got back in. It's like this. I got my back. <laughs> and, like, there was, o there was only, like, one thing to do once I got back in. And, and we were fighting. Shed them. We were fighting. Yeah, hundred percent. But it wasn't like I'm gonna chase everyone around the ice like I'm a heavyweight. 
It's like, <laughs> I'm going to play my five minutes. And if an opportunity comes to stick up for one of these prospects, I'm not like, I'm not missing that opportunity. No. Right. Like, you know, if I don't get a game, let's say if I get back in and I, and I, someone hits a kid and I don't step up, I don't play the rest of the season. I don't, and I don't have a contract for the next year. So, um, in that fifth game, just this big mutant hit one of my prospects, man. I just went after him. Good scrap. Like no one got hurt. And I got up from that. I was like, I could just see like, dude, the game's changing so much. Like there's not a lot of jam. Like, no. I mean, there is like, obviously like we're watching the NHL playoffs. Like that's just a different product of hockey, man. That is so fun to watch, man. And I'm just like, I try to bring that kind of game like every night. But um, like that fight happened, man. That's just like, and that just gets you so much respect, like from an organization, mm-hmm. like from your boys, from the coaches. And like, they're like, and now they're looking at me like, cause they didn't really know I could fight. It's also a dying breed, too, in the game, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think so. Yeah. If you do it at the right time, though, I think it's still acceptable. Oh, it's, it's definitely it's, still it's acceptable. It's not just a role to go out and do it just to do it. If you do it at the right time, I think it still has a part in the game. Absolutely. It has to, it has to be in the game. Um, but now they're kind of looking at me like, okay, Brennan can score, he can set guys up, and he can fight. Let's give him some more games. Let's see what happens. So, like, yeah, so, like, same thing though like limited minutes but like playing well um you know i think i chipped in a little bit and it's getting close to the end of the season now and like i haven't had like that game yet you know that game where it's like you know i put a you know i had a gordy or like i had a couple goals mm-hmm. like nothing where they were like hey we like absolutely need this guy you know like he's a good player he's um yeah, he's sticking around yeah he's like yeah. i think i think the coach was like yeah were you thinking that though? Sorry to interrupt you. Were you thinking, okay, I'm starting to show a little bit of improvement, but I don't think the coaching staff and the management are 100% sold on me. Were you thinking mm. that? Yeah. Okay. And I think I always am going to think like that, just, Which, just, just because yeah. of like where I've been. Like nothing. Like I have that chip on my shoulder where like I have to prove people wrong every day. Like that's got to be my mentality. So, anyways. Um, yeah, going into, like, the end of the season there, man, it's just, like, I start getting more ice time, too. I'm probably around, like, 10 minutes. I'm playing with, you oh, know, yeah. one of their young kids. Like, um, Zade Wisdom just got drafted there. Really good player of the OHL. And another kid, Tanner McMaster, he played, like, I think he came from the Marlies. And I'm just playing, like, with some of the best players I've ever played with. Hmm. And um, it was just one of those nights, man, where the hockey gods were just kind of like, you know, you deserve this night. And they were just like, I don't think I was playing any different than I do. Like, usually when I, you know, I get in, I have a few shots. I get good chances. Like, every night I was getting chances, but this is just one of those nights where they were going in, man. I got a hat trick, and then I think, yeah, crazy. And then at the end of the night, like, um, that guy, he ended – he like, that kid, like, he speared our goalie, and then he took another another one of my boys out. Like the guy you fought? Yeah, and then at center ice, I, ch- I just checked him out and was like, yo, like, you got to answer for those, like – that's dirty. That's dirty. Like mm-hmm. it's time to, you know, it's time to answer. Like that's three strikes, pal. And he's look, yeah, he's looking at me like, fuck you, fucking e- ECHL. I'm just like, heard it before, man. Like, <laughs> you, <laughs> like you're gonna fight? And he's just like, he wasn't fighting, but just like terrible ice awareness because like the next shift he goes and blows the, the kid up, and like I'm right there, like, <sighs> here, oh, yes, here we go. So that was it, man. That was like, like that was like the second last game. It was Patrick in a fight and contracts on the table. And the way you let off the ice with a little run, run down the hallway to the <laughs> left. I was just, I watched that video and I saw you run down to the left and I was just like, I know exactly. He, that kid has the biggest smile on his face right now. And you just knew a contract was coming. You're like, someone's got to see this and go, what the fuck? Who's this? What's little, going on? Little marshy flex on the way off. Oh my what God. What was the first thing I texted you? I was like, you're going to show the belt. Hey, little marshy flex. <laughs> And then everyone listening to the podcast right now, like I messaged him and I was like, look, Son, so proud of you. Awesome fight. Way to go. And then what Son, what you said back to me was, belly, we're getting closer. Yeah. And anyone that's listening out there, it doesn't matter what the hell you're doing in life. If you just listen to what this man across the table from me was talking about for what he just went through in the past four, five, six years to what that last game represents, what more do you need to hear in life? Yeah, man. Isn't that crazy? It doesn't matter what you're doing in life. So if, I- if it's... It's it's so true, man. It's like, um, and dude, that's like that's the best part of it for me is like, you know, when guys like you and like friends and family like it, or like guys I played with in midget reach out and they're just like, so it's like, keep going, man. You know, like, dude, like, you know, like, keep going, man. Like, it's like 
that that shit just fires me up, right? Oh, like man. just everyone from back home going nuts. But yeah, like you said, like you could see, you know, I'm throwing my hands up, like. Like Adrenaline, we, yeah, it's just like we're really here now, type shit. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. it's like, everything coming into one. <laughs> like moment. I'm here. Chris, the show now. Yeah, like, <laughs> like what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you see me ripping down the hallway, dude. That's because like twelve of the guys that like, um, that like for that month and a half, yeah. we were just practicing. You guys were on the practice squad or something. Yeah, and it's late in the game, so they're all now down at their press box, like down in the room, getting ready to like dab the boys up, like coming off. And it's like all my boys that I was practicing with all year are going bananas. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> They're going nuts. And oh, it that's like, awesome. Yeah, we're just like, <laughs> hands are all busted up. Boys are jumping <laughs> around. And it was literally <laughs> jokes, man. It was jokes. What I do to have that on camera, just that whole scene <laughs> in the dressing room. Oh, just, just like wearing like, a GoPro. Just the emotion, just the boys. Oh, oh man, dude. that is awesome. Because even like, if your yeah. adrenaline's starting to kind of wind down after the tilt, and you yeah. get down in the oh, tunnel no. and the boys are there, now you're, yeah. you're just, just as jacked. You're more yeah. jacked up now yeah. than yeah. you did were. You, did you sleep at all that night, or were you just on social media looking? No, like, man. You just... Honestly, I didn't sleep much all year, you you know, just like all your last just 10 like, years, just like I'd call like tuna, right? Like if I knew like coming back after that fourth game and I knew I had to fight, like just going to bed thinking like, you know, I mean, you got to fight like shit yeah. like that. Like that's hard on the head, man. Like those true heavies, like, you know, which that like, that's what they do. Like that's hard. Like that's, that's tough nights, man. Just like knowing you got to fight. That's why, you know, when you bring both, like you're not expected to fight every night. You know, you don't have to go to bed sleeping like that. But to... like <laughs> me, like breaking into these leagues, like you got to know, like you, like I have, like I have to have that on my head a little bit. But I just knew, like once you get, once you score three and then fight, like when I go in next year, I don't have to think about that shit.